Hello, and welcome to Gumberg Library's video tutorial on using the PICO tool in Embase. To start, let's begin with how to locate the tool. To access Embase, you'll need to consult our list of databases. On the library homepage, select Research, followed by Databases A to Z. Once on the databases list, filter by subject and select Health Sciences. Select Embase, which is listed under the yellow Best Bets box. From Embase's interface, select the PICO tab on the site's navigation. The PICO tool is useful as it can help widely search for articles relevant to your focused research question. By adding search terms for each field, you can build your search. For example, let's build a search based on the research question, are mobile devices an effective self-management tool for adults with type 2 diabetes? To build this search, we'll first consider our population. In the example, we're interested in type 2 diabetes in adults. You can see that Embase suggests modified search terms that correspond with vocabulary in Mtree, the thesaurus used to index language in Embase. In this case, type 2 diabetes is being corrected to non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. After we add that term, Embase will also offer a button to add synonymous terms. Selecting that button will allow you to review synonyms on the right-hand side, selecting any you want to add or remove from the search. Since we also wanted to specify the population to adults, we can add that here. Make sure to switch the operator from OR to AND so that we're only catching articles that reference both terms. For the intervention category, we'll use mobile devices. Mobile devices isn't a registered mTree term in Embase, but we can still search with it. Let's also use some other similar terms to broaden our search, such as mobile phones and smartphones. Both of these terms are mTree terms and have suggested synonyms. Keep in mind that Embase may not always have the perfect language to account for your search terms, so it's important to try and be as thorough as possible when considering what to include. Finally, we'll add our outcome of self-management. Embase suggests we instead use the term self-care and suggests other terminology that means the same thing. Now that our search is built, we can hit Show Results. The Show Results button is helpful as it shows how many results will be screened, which can help you engaging if your topic is too broad or too narrow. At the top of the screen, you can see the enormous search that Embase has built based on the terms and synonyms we selected using the PICO tool. From here, we can narrow down our results using the various filters Embase offers. Filters can be found at the top of the screen as well as on the left-hand side. Embase is an international database, so it's helpful to narrow down articles by language of publication. Another helpful filter in Embase is the publication type. Say we're interested in finding articles on our topic in any format except for conference literature. We can select every option save for conference abstracts, conference papers, and conference reviews. While these resources may be useful in some settings, it can be difficult to track down full text. To apply our search filters, we hit search again, and our stacked search will be updated with both filters added. Embase is helpful for connecting users with full text. If the library has access to an article's text, you'll see this download PDF button below the article. If you have LibKey Nomad installed in your browser, the software will integrate into Embase's interface and locate full text PDFs. You can also select Full Text Finder, which will present options of accessing full text of the article. If we don't have full text access, Full Text Finder will direct you to our interlibrary loan resource, Iliad. You can learn more about these options on our LibKey Nomad and Finding Full Text Library Guides. To learn more about using Embase's other features, check out our Embase Basics Guide. This has been a tutorial on how to use Embase's PICO tool. If you have any additional questions, you can ask Gumberg at the site below and contact the library.